Hi, Jason. Good to Hi. see you. Good to see you. Pleasure to meet you. Jason, can you introduce yourself and introduce Gully and tell us what it is and what it's really useful for? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Gully is actually uh, owned and developed by ODS, a company in Oxford that's wholly owned by Oxford City Council. So we're a local authority trading company. We've been involved with Gully uh, since about 2018 and we've actually developed the product that you actually see today. So what is Gully? It's a cross pavement solution that allows people that don't have a driveway the ability to actually charge their electric vehicle. So if you can imagine you've got the wall box charger at one end and then you've actually got the charging cable solution this end. And as you can see, it can actually be easily inserted and taken out. It's an easy solution for residents to actually use, to actually charge their vehicle, fully accessible and completely compliant with highway standards. Uh, we've had this rigorously tested, uh, so it can take up to 25 tons of weight. Uh, it's a safe solution. We've looked at multiple different designs and we're confident that this is a safe solution for mass deployment on the highways. We've got 12 trials up and down the country, mm -hmm. uh, penned in over the next year. Uh, and we're looking forward to seeing cross pavement channel solutions and particularly Gully uh, being widespread uh, adopted. I think the market is developing uh, and I'm confident that you will see solutions like these up and down the country within the not too distant future. It's definitely part of the solution for those that have no off street parking so that they can they can avail of cheap overnight tariffs and, and things like that. That's right. So in, in terms of the fitting of this um, into like a typical uh, path tarmac or concrete or, or flagged, yes. well, how long would that take and, and what's involved? It's a couple of hours. So effectively we're saw cutting the path and then it's actually installed. So it's a really straightforward solution that ODS can undertake or we can actually train uh, contractors that are actually operating within the local authority. But it, it, it's, uh, it's interesting you say about the uh, residents as well, because we think that the, the issue that we've got is people that don't have a driveway are completely reliant on public charging infrastructure. Um, and whilst that's improving, most people would like to charge at home. Uh, the difference in cost is significant. Significant. Um, I, I'm fortunate enough to be able to charge at home and I pay seven and a half pence uh, with Octopus. Uh, but last night at a hotel, I was charged about 80 pence. Um, and actually the charging unit didn't work. It only worked for a part of the time and then cut off. So there's a reliability issue. So Gully isn't a panacea. It's not going to actually cure all of the issues that we face as EV drivers, but it's certainly part of an ecosystem that moves us one step forward to decarbonisation. And there's a significant uh, number of the pop member numbers of the population that have this issue because on your stand here you're saying 24.6 percent of UK households are unable to charge at home so it is a significant number that need, would need this support. Absolutely you're absolutely right and uh, the 24.6 we believe is an underestimate uh, we think that the number is actually bigger than that but we, we've kept our figure around the 24.6 because not every household is going to be eligible for a gully so that's probably a realistic figure and if you think about 24.6%, uh, that's a huge proportion that there, there is a barrier for entry. Uh, and I think, you know, as an ethical company in Oxford, uh, we want to try and uh, allow decarbonisation to actually uh, flourish. And that's what we're trying to do. So you're aiming to go UK way. What about Northern Ireland? Is Absolutely. There... We would be delighted to actually uh, go to Northern Ireland. We were in Belfast. Uh, about a year or so ago for an AMSI award uh, and we'll certainly be happy to uh, work with Northern Ireland. If, if, you'd like to, if Northern Ireland would like to do a trial then please pick the phone up to me and we can arrange that like that. Superb. Okay. Thanks for your time Jason. Okay, pleasure. Thank you.